You're watching T.C. McCarthy, the most handsome and entertaining science fiction author on video. Thanks for tuning in. Pre-order my book, Tiger Burning. I did a video here, pew, explaining why pre-ordering is so important to me, and it's why I, I lead off every one of my videos asking you to do that. So check out the video. You can get that book anywhere, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, and if you pre-order it, it'll be shipped to you on the day that it comes out. What are we talking about today? Well, we are going to talk about my favorite science fiction universe, the Dune universe, first introduced to us by Frank Herbert in the book Dune. Um, I'm actually a fan of the movie uh, by, um, I can't remember who it was, it was the one with Kyle MacLachlan and the Italian director whose name I can't remember, Dino De Laurentiis or Oscar De Laurentiis. I love that movie actually. Was it true to the book? No. Uh, but I think that some of the concepts, some of the similar, like the costumes and everything, almost Flash Gordon-esque from the, the, the movie in the 70s, Flash Gordon. Um, I just, I love it. I don't know, it hit the sweet spot for me. Uh, but one of the concepts that was really, I think, faithfully brought to life in that movie was this concept of the personal shield, right? In the Dune novels, the characters are wearing these personal shields that allow them to be protected from projectile attack and uh, definitely from laser attack. In fact, if a laser in the Dune universe hits a shield, it creates an atomic explosion that goes off and kills the wearer and the shooter, and it varies in terms of the size of the atomic blast. So you definitely don't want to use a laser gun if you think that shields are going to be used anywhere in the vicinity. Shields are based on this hand wavy thing called the Holtzman effect and this is where I think Frank Herbert kind of dropped the ball. Uh, it, it is not science. We don't know what the Holtzman effect is um, and there's not even really that much hand waving to explain what the Holtzman effect is other than it creates this this concept of uh, I think it's involved both in interstellar travel as well as with this personal shield uh, development and it creates a shield that's essentially a force field where uh, you can't be hit by projectiles. The only thing it can the only thing that can penetrate shields are something that's moving at a predetermined velocity, a very slow velocity. And so in the movie, there's this line, the slow blade penetrates the shield. And uh, the, the idea is that the characters, because of shields, have to, in this far future universe, have to be skilled in the use of sword, swords, knives, daggers, those sorts of things. And so you're, you're always on defense, you can be as fast as you want in these shields. But when you're attacking and you want to slip a knife into your opponent's gut, you have to move slowly. And so I thought that was genius. That's a stroke of genius. It's a very different kind of combat system that Frank Herbert gave us in the Dune universe. I just wish it was more based in science. Although I have to admit, there's probably a reason why he couldn't base it in science. And let's get to that now. Now, force fields are not a new concept, uh, and the, 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 the concept of generating some sort of you know, energy-based field around something to protect, to protect it from kinetic attack or energy attack has definitely been used over and over again in science fiction and has been looked at carefully by scientists probably for decades. You know, force fields have been, uh, you know, used in science fiction for barriers like doors, bridges between two points, um, defense like I already mentioned. Uh, building like a temporary habitable space, you know, uh, you in Star let's use Star Wars as an example. I hate that stuff. But anyway, you know, the, the, the force field where the ships were docked in these big bays and you had a force field basically to separate pressured area, pressurized area from, from the vacuum of space. Okay, so what's the current reality of force fields? Well, basically... <clears throat> They're almost impossible to make at this point. The, the, the closest we've gotten to a force field, there are two concepts. One is this idea that we could coat a spacecraft with this fine mesh and create a field of plasma, charged particles around the ship. And that field would almost work as a, almost like the Earth's magnetic field uh, to um, kind of shunt away charged particles, things like solar particles, solar storms, those sorts of things to protect astronauts inside of a spacecraft. They would also have the benefit of maybe protecting the spacecraft from very, very small particles of dust and uh, space rock that would otherwise punch holes in the craft, you know, on the way to Mars, for example. Now, something big, it's not going to have any effect on. This is not something that's going to provide any protection from kinetic attack or anything like that. It's essentially a field of charged particles that, that bounce away other forms of energy and in some cases small, 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 small particles. And then the second concept that's on the drawing books at least right now is this thing, I think either Boeing invented it or they bought the patent, where they develop, they essentially, um, it's, a, it's again a plasma field idea. Plasma fields are apparently the best thing we can come up with at this point based on uh, current science. It's a plasma field that's, that's geared for kind of military deployment that will protect users, vehicle-based probably, from um, shockwaves from explosions. So if an artillery shell or an IED goes off, 
This thing won't protect the occupants from the, from the pieces or shards of metal, but it might actually mitigate some of the shock wave. And I'm not sure how it does it, but we, you know, that is a step closer. Again, I'm not, it's, it's plasma. It's the same concept that we described in terms of sp protecting a spacecraft. But in this case, it's used on, on the ground, in an atmosphere, and uh, is very interesting if it works, if it can mitigate some of the shock wave, uh, because that can, um, that can cause a lot of damage to our troops in terms of traumatic brain injuries and other things, flipping the vehicle, those sorts of things. So I hope that actually becomes a reality and is fielded, because that would be a very cool concept uh, if it actually works. So. What is my point in all this? I love Dune. I love the personal shields. I don't think they're, they're, we're ever going to see them now or even in the far, far, far distant future uh, unless we come up with some sort of fundamentally new uh, discovery in physics that would allow something like that to happen. For now, the best we can do is cover things with a, with a plasma field, uh, which is good, but it's, it's, not ne it's not nearly as cool as the, um, as the you know, slow blade penetrating the shield. That's all I got. Buy my book, July 2nd. Picture of it here. Tiger burning. Pre-order it now. End transmission. Hey, TC McCarthy here, the most eclectic and entertained science fiction author on YouTube, maybe even the internet. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. As usual, buy my books. I've got a new one coming out in July, and uh, I'll have a giveaway coming up soon, so stay tuned for that. Appreciate you subscribing to my channel, and please, 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 please don't forget to click that little bell icon so that whenever I upload new content, you get notified. Thanks again. See you soon.